So it was many, many years ago, back in the days of reception, when I was a wee lad of about five or four years old, and me and my best friend were the prime, we were the best at collecting these cards, these food cards that they gave every lunchtime. For context, the food cards, they were very basic, alright, they were literally about like top trumps. All it was is they gave like four categories, each with different nutritional values for each food. For example, like lentils, eggs, lamb, beef, you know, so on and so forth. And this, this was hype every single lunchtime. I mean, this was the Pokemon cards before Pokemon cards. And no one even knows it exists. It's underrated. It's so underrated. People got into actual fights over this stuff, which I did. And so this is the story of how that happened. It was a lunchtime like any other, and we were about to go and get our food. And I was very, very excited for some reason today. And I was very, very, very keen on getting on getting those the, those brand new food cards. Most of the cards were balanced, and you know each of them could win to some degree if you knew what you were doing. But there was one, one singular card that if you picked, if you picked energy as the topic, you could not lose. And that card was the cheese card. Everyone wanted the cheese card. The cheese card was unbelievably rare for some reason. And only like two people in the entire school had it. At this point, I'd amassed, you know, I'd amassed some sort of some sort of wealth in the Clint card community. I've had lamb, I had I had, you know, yams, I had rice, you know, all, all good cards, all good cards. But nothing compared to the legendary cheese. But I thought this is the day where it all changes. My friend went in front of me at the lunch line, so he got his cards first. And the way that it works is that you get your food, and at the end of serving you their food, they give you two random face-down cards, so you don't even know what they are until you pick them up, which just added to the suspense. And so he goes, he gets his food, then he gets his two face-down cards. And then it's my turn. I go get my food, and I get my two face-downs, and I'm thinking, this is it. Finally, after all this time, <sighs> banana and lentil. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's just two food cards. We can try again tomorrow. Then I turn over to my friend, and he's staring in awe. The legendary cheese card is his. And I see that, and my blood boils. And I'm just like, hey, bud, you wanna, you wanna give me that card? He's just like, no, it's mine. <laughs> that was the last straw. So I rip the card out of his hand, I snap him on the head with his tray, and I default dance in his court. What I actually did was I ended up pushing him down and trying to rip the card out of his hand by force. フルユージングのカードをください。おしまいです。なし。チーズカードは私のものです。私はすべて協力です。それなら病気はあなたに往復を強制しなければならないと思います。あなたが持っているのはそれだけですかね。じゃあ。私の権力の追求は常に私が気にかけている人々を奪わなければなりませんか。私の親友、ごめんなさい。At the end of the day, I had to give the card back, so I didn't even get what I wanted, but I did end up ripping the card, <laughs> so he didn't get it either, so I was, I, I was still satisfied. And then a few weeks later, they completely banned those cards in our school and stopped making them entirely. So I did have a lasting impression. Luckily, I still had a spy on the inside. My older sister in year five. My sister was just a teensy bit more calm about these cards than I was. And by the end of our time at that primary school, we had amassed a total of four individual cheese cards. It was amazing. Suck it, everyone.